Hello, my name is Ryan Conley, and today I'm going to show you how to download a video off of YouTube and then re upload it onto your YouTube channel and then show you also how to drive traffic to it. So, today, what I'm going to um, do is I'm going to grab a video off of YouTube and we're going to take this one here, for example, just because it's one minute long, it won't take us long to download. And you're going to copy this link right here. And I'm using a software called ClipGrab. Uh, this is a free online application that you can quickly download onto your computer. And I will put a link in the description box that will give you the link for this so you can put on your computer and then give it a try. So after we copied the URL from this right here, uh, we're going to come to right here and paste that URL. And once that's done, you're going to click grab this clip and it's going to give you the opportunity to save it to your desktop right there. And you can see that it's downloading really quickly right here. Again, the video is only about a minute long. And as this is downloading, we're then going to go over to YouTube and re-upload it on there. Okay, so as you can see, the video has officially downloaded onto my desktop. And I'm going to open up a different YouTube uh, page right here. And when you go up to inside YouTube, there's a button up here that says create. And as soon as you click on that, it's going to give you the chance to upload a video. So we're going to click there and then select file. We're going to find that video right there, which is the first one. This is under desktop at where it downloaded to. And I'm going to click on open. So here we go. The video is actually uploading onto my YouTube channel. And uh, you can see 0% process. This is going to uh, keep uploading but while this is doing this while it's uploading we're going to start editing the title and the title is really important because this is going to help you drive a lot of seo your search engine optimization so the words that you put in the title and the words that you put in the description space are really important because that's how people are going to find your video and so we're going to go ahead and change this title up a little bit so can grow own your own cannabis plant and uh, get paid in Bitcoin here. Okay. This is just one of my other online marketing opportunities. And I just thought I'd do this video because it's nice and short, but you can do this for any, any different opportunity that you're currently working with. Um, after you have the title done right here, uh, the next thing you want to do is fill out the description. So in this case, uh, I typically would come to the video description and I would copy the description, uh, but I'm not too, uh, this is not one that I would want to use right here. So I'm actually going to be grabbing this off of another video on the same business that I uploaded. And so I'm going to take all this information right here. And the information that you want to make sure that you include when you're uploading a video opportunity is, for example, first, the first thing you want is a description. Uh, you want to make sure that you have your link for your business opportunity. And then you want to make sure that you have your contact information, information as well. So I'm going to go back to where I was uploading this. I'm going to paste this right here. And you may want to go ahead and just uh, change the wording on your thing. In this case, I just copy this because one of my videos I thought it would fit right here. And after that's done, the next thing you want to do is just come down to here under thumbnails. And the thumbnail picture is the one that's going to show up on the YouTube search. So have you seen on YouTube when you're looking through the different videos on there, You'll, there may be a picture that captivates you, gets you interested in, in that video to watch it. So in this case, looking at these, you know, billion dollar market, that's a pretty pretty trendy word right there. Catch, that should get some attention. So you could do that, or else you could also have the opportunity to upload a thumbnail picture if you don't like any of those images right there, okay? So in this case, I'm fine with that. I'm gonna leave that as it is. And then the next thing you wanna do is you wanna come under playlist. Now, I have, um, uh, I, I have a thing that I'm going to use, which is Canagrow Playlist, because I have one. If you have not created a playlist, you'll want to come down to the bottom and click on New Playlist. Now, I'll give you the opportunity to uh, save a new playlist. And for every business opportunity, you want to make sure that you save all those videos into that particular playlist. So, for example, I'm with another company called Healy, which is a frequency thing. I would have my... You know, I would uh, have a Healy playlist right there, Healy frequency. But every video that you upload into YouTube, you want to create a channel for it. So I'm going to save this to Canagrow. I'm going to click done. 
And as we're moving down here, the next thing that you want to do is click on that it's not for kids. Because when you do put it's not for kids, this is going to give you some other options that typically wouldn't be available for you. For example, underneath tags, uh, these are kind of like hashtags, or it actually helps with the search engine optimization once again. And so what I would recommend doing is inserting all these different words in your title, first of all, as hashtags, as tags. So I'm going to go ahead and put can or grow, uh, cannabis, plant, uh, paid, Bitcoin, Ryan Conley. You may put uh, CBD, anything pertaining to this niche because you want people trying to find this video online. Um, Home-based business. And you're going to put the uh, press the enter key after every single word that you put in this. And I'll give you the opportunity to keep going right here with this. Okay. And then the next thing you can do is you can come down here and you can select a video language. Um, I would recommend coming down if we're talking English here and hitting English United States. Uh, in this video, there is no, there's no words. It's just nothing but sounds. So, but you can still put that there. Okay. Uh, next thing you want to do is you want to keep coming down to the very bottom and you're going to hit the next button. Okay. So the ad screen and the ad cards is going to be available to those of you that have other videos uploaded on YouTube. And so you're not going to be able to put one of these on here unless you have other videos. And what this does, for example, on an in ad in screen, if I click on this, it's going to give me the opportunity to have a button where people can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also have a thing here that says best for viewer. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to choose a specific video. And so you can type in your videos and type in can or grow, for example, here for these other videos that you have uploaded. And let's say that I want to put this one here. So at the end of this video, when it's done playing, this is the thing that's going to come up at the end to suggest to the viewer that they want to watch this next video here, which pertains to the same opportunity. After that, you're going to come up here and click on save. Okay. And then the cards right here, this is different than the in screens because this is the little thing that comes up uh, in the very beginning of the video. Uh, you'll see on a YouTube video where it's, it has a suggestion what to watch or something like this right here. And that's what this does. So I'm gonna click on here. I'm gonna go, I wanna again click on video or playlist because again, I want this to pertain to um, Canner Grow. And uh, let's see, I come down here and I say type in Canner Grow. And actually, I don't have another video here that I wanna upload to this, but for the time being, I'll just select a different, I'll select a different video. So I'll just put this, for example, create card. Okay. So after that, that card is added. And then what you're gonna do is come up to the very top right where it says return to your YouTube studio, okay? And now we're getting to the very end here. So you can see that the green boxes here represent that we've actually uploaded a in card, we've uh, in screen, we've added a card. We come down to the bottom and click on next. And then the last step that you're gonna to do to finish uploading the video on YouTube is just click on public. And that's instantly save or publish. This is gonna go up right now and click on publish. Okay. So now I would recommend clicking on the YouTube link right here so you can easily blast this out to your different things, your other social media networks, or else you can click on add, click on this link. And the reason why I'd recommend doing that is because I don't know, I kind of kick these videos off with uh, clicking on here. And that just kind of gets the interactions going right here. And so now we're gonna talk about driving traffic to this particular video because a lot of people that are online marketers, you may not want to just solicit people that you know, you want people actually coming to you. And we call this attraction marketing. Okay, so this is when people find your YouTube video, for example, and they may call, reach out to you, you may get an email, or you may get a, a phone call. And they say, hey, Ryan, interested, I'm interested in your cannabis opportunity right here. Okay. So now I'm going to show you, we're going to go to a Twitter, uh, a Twitter page, for example, and you can do this on your Facebook as well. 
and, and so I'm gonna go ahead and type in, uh, I'm gonna put a post on my Facebook wall, first of all, and I, I call this a micro sales pitch. So it's just like a general little thing. This is how you um, get paid in hashtag Bitcoin for growing cannabis with can or grow, okay? Just a little simple sentence that may get people's attention. And uh, I'll say, check this out. And I'll put my video link right there, what I copied and paste right there. And you may choose to go ahead and put in some, uh, I know it's High Times right here, magazine. <laughs> so you, know, you may want to choose something. Um, again, this is just about selling CBD. Um, you may want to put, what else is out there? Hashtag CBD also, something like that. Just help drive traffic, okay? And then you're gonna copy this entire thing, okay? The reason why you're gonna do this is for the next step, we're gonna tweet this onto our, our wall right here. Okay, so now that's on my wall. I'm gonna come up to the upper right-hand corner and I'm gonna type in hashtag cannabis, okay? And let me see, cannabis, I'm gonna hit the enter button right here and it's gonna bring up everything, all the different posts out there involving cannabis, okay? So you can see what we're trying to do right here is we're trying to find social media posts that actually have some content on them and some likes and some comments. So I'm gonna, first of all, I'm gonna like this person's post. I'm gonna comment. And from there, we're gonna give them some nice uh, friendly spam. <laughs> but he may be interested. So we're, we're using the keyword search to find people that are interested in what we're talking about and we click on reply, okay? You can see that just increased. Next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna come down to the next one, give that, you can see that hashtag campus is right here. I'm gonna comment again because this is gonna notify all those people that like this post, and it's gonna engage with the people that are sharing this post and stuff, okay? You don't wanna go ahead, you don't wanna do this more than like 10, 12 times per social media platform because then your post will be deemed as spam, and so you wanna be careful of that. Okay, again on this one, and I'm saving these posts, um, comments for posts that actually have some um, interest to them right here, okay? I'm not gonna go ahead and post on something, for example, like um, this right here. You can see they've got no likes, they've got no comments, they've got no shares. Let's do this one more time here, okay? Okay, there's that, all right. Okay, I'm just gonna click on post one more time. And then we can move to our other social media networks like LinkedIn, for example. I'd recommend posting your, your comments on all your social media walls, first of all, and then search the hashtags on these different social media networks, whether it's Facebook or, excuse me, Facebook or Twitter or LinkedIn. We're gonna post that right there as well. And then also you can come down to here and we could type in hashtag, excuse me, cannabis. Okay, here's this. Lots of different, here's just people coming all day long. Everyone's home because of the coronavirus, right? Um, let me see here. Okay, so we, we, you would be able to come underneath these posts. Let me just stick to LinkedIn because it's not so, not a whole bunch of messages popping up. But again, you can type in hashtag cannabis after you post that right there. And you're going to bring up all the posts right here. Hashtag cannabis. There we go. So this guy is um, talking about cannabis. We're going to paste our link right there also that we did on Twitter. Okay. I'd say that the most, where you'll have the most success is probably on Facebook, from my experience. And people are going to get notified that aren't friends of yours. So, for example, hit a like and I'll do one more here. All right. So everyone, YouTube is definitely where people are searching for opportunities. And it's a place where it's a, because people love watching videos. So this is the perfect way to get the message out there about your YouTube video. You can see I started off with zero views right here. I don't expect a whole bunch of views as soon as I, I do launch this, but I'll go ahead and hit the refresh button here. Okay, and you can see that we already have three views since we've uh, launched this video. Okay, 
And then you can come down to your video playlist and on YouTube, this is your playlist right here, your channels, all your videos that you upload. And you can see that the different views. So every day I encourage you all to upload a video on YouTube uh, pertaining to the subject set uh, of businesses that you're working with. As you can see here just the other day, I, you know, 377 views, 193 views. You know, yesterday I published this one, this got 81 views. And the nice thing about this is that these videos are gonna be lingering on YouTube forever, driving you traffic for your home-based businesses. So for example, here's my, my frequency business. Here's a small um, online supplement business that I'm driving traffic to also. And it shows all the, the comments and the likes right here also. You can see it like 100% feedback. This is a good way to engage with your people here. So you wanna pay attention to this because um, it's gonna give you the chance to reach out to these people and you've got four comments, for example, or comments on your videos, you can reach back and see if these people are interested. Okay, well, thank you so much for uh, taking a look at this video. I hope you guys found this really useful and that it helps you drive traffic for your channel. And again, I will put in the video description uh, the link for this Clip Grab easy to use software right here. As you can see, it's really simple. You can just type in here, for example, if you were putting something out there about uh, Can I Grow Again, okay, you can either post the YouTube link in here or else you can search by just hitting a keyword. And you can see all the different videos that come up. In any of these videos, you go ahead and click on again. Like let's say that I put this one right. If I wanted this one, I could put this and it's gonna give me the chance to download it right there. So. You guys, thank you so much for your time and feel free to give me a call if I can help you guys at all with this. My information will be down in the description box as well. And I hope you find this helpful.